your side. We'll stop at 29. 
tuombe siku hiyo mbele najua nasoma vizuri asome kitabu hicho amen amen ili watoto wenzi wale ambao wasikie wasikie unaweza kupatia baraka Ephesians 4:25-29. Masomo kwa kwa Paulo kwa Efeso sura ya 4 verse ya 20 na 25-29. Neno la Mungu linasema Basi ufweni uongo ukaseme kweli kila mtu na jirani yake kwa maana tu kiungo kila mmoja kiungo cha mwenzake muwe na muwe na asira ila msitende dhambi jua lisichwe na kuchungu wenu bado haujawatoka wala msimpe eh, msimpe ibilisi nafasi 28 hmm. mwimbaji eh, mwimbaji asibe tena bali afadhali afanye juhudi akitenda kazi iliyo nzuri kwa mikono yake mwenyewe apate kuwa na kitu cha kugawia cha kumgawia mhitaji tuendelee 29 29 linasema neno lote eh, neno lolote lililo povu lisitoke vinywani mwenu bali lililojema la kumfaa mwenye kuhitaji ili liwape neema wanaosikia amen amen we read Ephesians 4 25 to 29. So stop telling lies. Let us tell our neighbors the truth. For we are all parts of the same body. And don't sin by letting anger control you. Don't let the sun go down while you are still angry. For anger gives a, a foothold to the devil. If you are a thief, quit stealing. Instead, use your hands for good and hard work and then give generously to others in need. Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the word of God that we wanted to hear today. I'll go ahead and talk about one one word that says truthfulness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is a word that you hear. To say it's a very easy word. But it's very hard to put it into action. Paul wrote this to uh, this letter to the Ephesians. Okisoma kagavyo linasema ingesozi kila neno mtume Kristo. When you read it Kurundi, it says the behavior is needed for a Christian. Nasema kwamba mjivue uongo. He says to remove the sorry. The lies. Harafu mtu aseme ukweli na ndugu yake. And tell the truth with your neighbors. Kwa sababu kila mmoja ni kiungo cha mwenzake. For we are all part of the same body. Ila maana kwamba tutakwenda kuona which means maana ya neno ukweli the meaning of truth ukuchini tutaona mazala ya kutokuwa mkweli in on the bottom we see the the outcome of not being truthful sidi is it that true si tumeimba kwamba Yesu ametuweka huko then we see that the lord has made us free ni wangapi wamewekwa huru na Yesu who has been made free with us hallelujah amen If you have yet to be uh, made free, do not raise your hand. If you have been made free, raise your hand. We see that with the many youth, they have not been made free. But today the Lord will make you free. Paul took a look at the church of Ephesus. And he wrote this letter. According to that time, at the church there were many things that were not going on he saw many people in the church there were many lies coming in people are telling many lies instead of saying the truth 
The name of telling the truth. Why should a Christian tell the truth? Why is that a Christian in their spiritual being Why should the, uh, the pastors tell the truth? How, uh, how can the families tell the truth? Why should the country also be in truth? It means that the truth is something that is needed in the life of the human being. The word true it must be the first thing in every circumstance. Everywhere out, the place you work. It's good for you to tell the truth in front of your boss. They can tell you why did you report to work today. And you'll say, truthfully, boss, I was sick. Knowing that you had a doctor's appointment. Or you just felt like you didn't want to go to work. Right there, if Jesus comes to you, you would stay here. Because you refuse to tell the truth. It means that many hear about divorce court. When you enter into the courtroom, there are two things they tell you. Even if you are the verdict or the perpetrator or the witness, they ask you, do you know these people? Sign here if you're going to tell the truth. Amen. Amen. And the truth and the church will be uh, taken with the truth. If the church is not built on the truth, it means the church cannot be on in the truth. If the, the house is not on the truth, it means that the foundation is not on the truth. The family cannot continue. The Lord will bless you once you're together. And praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we together? Yes. Amen. 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 When I was praying to the Lord, there are many topics that I wanted to teach. But it was like a sound of my voice. There are many topics that I wanted to teach. But I heard a voice. Teach about truth. Why does it be? Praise the Lord. The truth it is behind is the opposite of lies. If you're not truthful, you're a liar. Isn't that true? Yes. Someone can say, oh, come get me, I'm at the gas station. You can call a Christian to come get you. And they'll tell you, I'm already done. And they haven't asked anything about It is a Christian that knows on Sunday there'll be a whole thing. You'll also be a singer. You'll find that truth in the choir is not there. Because of what? If the person is saved, 
every house or every church he has order praise the Lord order comes out of just our homes when you wake up you brush your teeth you take a shower you dress up have you seen someone walk outside naked that's the order Praise the Lord. And the order was put there by Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord planned He planned everything. Praise the Lord. Tell the people the truth. If they'll hate you, let them hear you. But the truth is the truth.
na kuwa pale Jumamosi ananiambia yeye inakuwa hivi na hivi. We were there Saturday and she said this is this and that. Lakini Jumapili. But on Sunday. Sasa mchungaji kwa kweli ilikuwa hivi na hivi. Yeah, pastor you know it was like this. Did you say this yesterday? Amen. That's how our people all know our Christians. When a person is saved, the first thing that's showcased, people await the truth out of you. Because when we used to be in a secondary school, elementary school, it means that when you lie to the teacher, they will tell you to call your parents and they will hit you like 10 they will make you kneel on the cross and raise your hands but nowadays when you tell them why are your children attending there are so many things that happen at church amen amen but if you are naked what are you doing it is important for the church to be back in the truth. I 
kipindi hicho but during that time Mungu anasema mara ya tatu Mungu ananionyesha Marekani the third time the Lord showed me America analipa maneno ya Afrika he gave me a word to take sema kwamba to say that I'm sending you over there. As I was sleeping, I saw people who were tired. You see a person in church. The other is also sleeping. The other is also talking. He said, Go and tell to repent. The kingdom is near. Amen. I woke up. And I said, how am I going to take this uh, word? I was going through a protection. I had yet going to resettlement. So I said, Lord, this is my You said you'll pick a good country for me. You just changed my vision. There is the Lord. I grew up hating. Uh, I grew up uh, uh, hating others, hating others. Baba na niambia, papu zake wali kipi ya kongo na mahimi. My father told me my uh, my family ran to Kongo. Na muambia, kisa ya nini? And I told him why? Mubaguzi na mkabila na chuzi. Because of discrimination, because of culture and and race, ethnicity. Nika una hali. And I saw that situation. Nika uweza kupitia mambu haya. If I go through this, to get people together, I have to go through the army. Hallelujah. 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 I think you saw me in Tanzania. I had a plan to get them together. I got into many uh, sectors of partners. I even got to the point where I was leading where? When you were this? Uh, the districts. But when I got to Tanzania, the Lord changed. I I told God I won't go over there. 
I have my uncle. He was the advisor of Burundi. He was the first doctor in Burundi. He studied in Russia. So I said, come to Burundi. So I can give you. Amen. But the Lord said, sit down. Until you work for me. I have a purpose for you. I want to send you somewhere. But I went. I went to Burundi. I got ready for that job of uh, getting people together. I was in the work of Orange. When you look at the cars and the good uh, salary, you said, God, I will Amen.
But who do they like to? When you come over here, and you work for a thousand dollars, you get fifty dollars. <laughs> That's not time. Because you stole from God. The Lord help us. 
Amen. Amen. Hapo hapo. Right over there. I woke up from my sleep. And I asked God. Mungu ni kitu gani nimekuibia? God, what have I stolen from you? Mbona mimi nafika kwenye muda kanisani? Hapo when I Mbona nimekubali kukusikia? Mbona nimekubali mahari nilituma? I have I have accepted what you sent me. Nikara. I slept. Mungu akaanza kunionesha. Mimi baraka. Hallelujah. Barikiwe mtumishi kwa ule wewe. Truth is 
life. But it's the it's life. They tell they teach the life. Amen. 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 But carefully look at what you receive. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Who was stuck somewhere? Of not telling the truth. Amen. Amen. I want us to stand up. I want us all to stand up. You feel too weak to stand up. You feel too weak to stand up. It's well. But if you know, there's a somewhere that you will come in front. I'm coming in front of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit. He, he says, There's a place for you or not. Come in the Spirit. Be 
When I accepted to work for the Lord, yes, leo, the Lord told me today you'll be baptized in the Holy Spirit. When I went to go ahead and I submitted my life to Jesus, people who wanted to receive the Holy Spirit, when they touched me, I saw the heaven. Let me pray for you.